let's say we're working with a recruiter now. So what do you look for? What's a good way for me as a department head to then get a good recruiter relationship going? Yeah. Number one is have the buy-in from your internal team. You know, earlier in my career, you, and, and even so now, I mean, companies, internal talent acquisition teams, or sometimes HR teams, they're going to look at an external recruiter as competition. Well, they had to bring somebody else in because I couldn't get the job done. And oh, now they think that their job's on the line and so on and so forth. When it's like, actually, no, like I am a value add in this yeah. case. Like I'm trying to actually make your job easier because if you look at the you know 15 positions that an internal recruiter needs to work on, the one that I'm helping you with is probably one of the, you know, it's probably number 12 to 15 on their list. It's at the bottom of their list. It's a really hard search and that they really don't know much about anyways. So what they can do is they can actually spend more time on the searches that are, you know, closer to the top of their list that they have a higher expertise in, in helping fill. Okay. And so really it's, it's getting, if, if you're a marketing leader right now and you're talking to your HR team, they're like, mm, really don't want to go outside really, you know, don't want to do this. And I get it. Budget is one you know, aspect of, of the current market. I understand that. Right. But knowing what the opportunity cost is, is if we don't go outside and it takes us two to three months to try to fill this position or, Hey, you know what? We do hire somebody who applied to the position, but we don't have con control over, you know, if you, if you put a posting out there, you have no control over who applies to that position. So there's a difference between getting the best person that applies and the best person that's in market. It don't get me wrong. There's great people that apply to jobs all the time, but I think it's your responsibility as a leader to make sure that you're getting the best person in market, whether or not they just happen to stumble across that job posting, you know, that day, that week or, or not. And so again, it's kind of going in circles here, but, but make sure that you get the buy-in from your internal HR and recruiting team. I mean, that's number one, um, because they're going to have a lot of input and insight into, you know, how, again, they're going to be able to make your job easier. You know, the other thing is I'm biased just because the positions that I place now are more marketing leaders. So there's a, you know, there's a contingent model, there's a financially committed model, you know, retainer and, and stuff like that. Regardless of what your opinions are as a hiring leader on contingent versus retained, my biggest piece of advice would be to work with one firm. Just work with one firm and, and, and look that firm in the eye and say, hey, we need your help because what that because what's going to happen is they're going to be then, you know, committed to filling that position versus if you say, well, you know what, we're just putting this out to contingent to three or four other firms and we're just going to see what comes in. Well, <laughs> what's going to happen? And, and again, I don't do this now, but what I did earlier in my career is, you know, yeah, I'd spend two days, I, you know, bubble up, you know, two or three names. I would send over those two or three names. And if one of those people got hired, awesome, that'd be great. But I didn't spend any more work. You know, I didn't spend any more time. So what happens as a hiring manager is you get, it's fast and furious. You get, you know, 10 resumes the first week. Mm -hmm. And then after those, you know, interviews are done, those applicants and those resumes that you get from a, your recruiting partner start to trickle. And it's like, okay, where are the other candidates? Where are the other candidates? Where are the other candidates? But well, you have three other firms working on this. Like I'm prioritizing the stuff that I feel like I have the highest likelihood to fill. And that's not a, a role that has three other recruiters working on it, you know? So it's, it's just, and most recruiting firms aren't going to tell you that. Um, yeah. But, but that's the, the, the environment that happens for sure.